welcome guys to a new video on the channel and today we'll be covering a realista deck um very unusual for me uh, normally i don't really cover bermuda triangle or anything like that or even standard related um but today i really want to like focus or highlight this deck um, because it will be one of the strongest decks in the bro uh, meta and probably also in the pcs meta regarding and like what set release you are of course um, this deck still has to come out, so I will be using the JP deck lock. And the reason why I even cover it uh, is because I really want to do well at BRO. Uh, so I'm been practicing like a lot of meta decks, of course, uh, lots of like little variations. And I think this is one of the variations I'm really happy with uh, at the moment. Um, it's JP, so I will be covering the cards, but I, I will try to explain the cards as much as possible. And we will go over each every independent card. Uh, this deck is coming out on July, so just before BRO is happening. Um, and I think this is one of the top three decks in the format for currently. So let's try to like take a look at it and see how it performs. So first of all, I don't even know why the fuck will this is meta. Um, like for people that don't know me, um, I played these series a lot in the beginning but like a lot i tried to like participate a lot um then i didn't really do much after that then i played jet uh played a shit ton of jet and that's really it that's my standard experience so i've been trying a lot of like past d decks to see what's happening and the last thing i remembered from willis it was pretty shit um but the new willis is actually really good but it's more about the support cuts that i feel it's really good so the first skill is when she rides, you can discard a card um, and then you can add a gem from your drop zone to your hand. Drop zone or soul actually. Um, the soul is like, you don't really want to do that, but if you can circumvent that, that's really good. If you cannot, not too big of a bummer. And the really cool thing about this is the fact that it's in the right phase. Because when placing a Vanguard, it's still in the right phase. Um, so you will see other with the other interactions with the cards. That this is really crucial to add. Uh, Accumulate a lot of blessing. And then the second skill is uh, you soul bless the gem. And then regarding which gem you essentially soul bless, she gains skills. Uh, but you will also see because of her support, this is actually super strong. Uh, so you check the top five if you have like the ruby, I think. Um, check top five, call two, two unit cards, and shuffle the rest. The old Wallista, uh, I believed like mailed all the cards and you could call two. This is far better because you can keep your triggers in the deck. Uh, and you can actually like really reuse cards if you really want that in a sense of you don't really need to mail them and then you can just call them later and later she also gains 15k so she's a huge beat stick on herself and that's something you will see later um and this is for her skill i will explain why it synergizes a lot with other skills um the grade 2 essentially says when you play the gem uh, you draw a card and that's really it. And the reason why or like how you get a gem is with the grade 1 right line. Essentially when the grade 2 rides over her. Um, then you can put a card from your head to the a gem. So it synergizes in the fact that the gem allows you to go it get a plus. And the gem is a grade 1. Like a grade 1. So you can already play it on turn 1. Uh, so that's really good. And the gem essentially gives it plus 5k. So you will hit for very nice numbers because... 15 is quite awkward for your opponent to guard against and then the great zero is just a great zero i don't even know if you need it uh, for the right line but it's just good to have uh, then we have ophelia which is an amazing unit um essentially says after the battle she attacked or the attack the no, no sorry the battle of the vanguard so at the end of the vanguard battle she gains plus 15k if you played one gem and then the counter blast uh, one and put the center back or unit on the bottom of your deck and shuffle and blah 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 to extender so she's an attack extender uh, if you have two she doesn't really work because you only have one center back or rearguard um but because she still gets the 15k she's a really big beat stick for the deck um and this deck actually can perform five attacks in the turn but uh, the other card that allows you the fifth attack uh, is great reverse circuit for your opponent and this doesn't really care whatever the word like you have also nice you can recycle the cards you really need for a later game and that's really it i play one old Wallista. i really like it for the moment but it also maybe like 
removed from the deck late at a later date. Um, the reason for it is, is essentially you want to play an order every turn. And this deck also wants Persona White as much as possible because I think Persona White is really good. Uh, because if you don't Persona White, your numbers are okay. But it's not good, good, broken in my opinion. You really need to like have Persona White to push that limit. And with the newer list star, you essentially need a list star in your soul when you go uh, second at the moment of your riding grade 3. So you need to give up on uh, one of the newer list stars, and that means you only have two Persona Whites left in deck. If you put this into the soul, you have still three Persona Whites, it's still fine. And because you always play order every turn, the chalice doesn't work, and that's really it. You cannot really play any other order except for the gems. And then we have the Cyclers. In my opinion, this is like one of the best cards of like PPT 10, I think. Um, really cards you need to watch out for because some decks can really abuse them, such as Relista. I think that's one of the reasons why it's such a great deck. And the reason for it is like all cyclists have the ability that uh, when you discard it during your right phase, you can solve this one, put a bull deck and draw. So you just get an endless like value of it. And because Relista box during the right phase, it's an incredible combo of course to work with. Uh, second ability, just when you percent right, uh, you can give the skill to the Vanguard to give 5k to the front row. Just a nice skill, it's good when you have CB left over, but normally you don't really have it because you usually like use 2 CB in a turn and you usually go pretty fast through it. Of, or of course if you're healing then you're a good player. Then I play 2 copies of Trixie. And the reason for it is Trixie is really a garbage card. All your skills are grade 3 locked, and even their first skill where she gains 5k is locked behind your opponent being grade 3. And that's just really garbage. The reason why I still play it is like, just like the theory that I had earlier with the old realist and the new realist. Um, you need a way to put the old realist into the soul. And if you use it through the grade 1, then you need it essentially opening hand. You really need it at turn 1 or turn 2. If you have Trixie, you can also do it at a later moment and still gain value of that. Trixie is not per se a bad card, but it's also not really a good card either. And I would rather play Gamada, Gamada, I don't know, like this card. Um, just when you played a gem this turn, she gains 10k. And you can already use this on turn 2. As I said earlier, you play gems on turn 2. Uh, so this becomes a 20k beat stack. And the thing is with the deck, it really lacks early game. So we put this in in order to increase the early game potential of this deck. And that's really like wonderful. Eureka is also there to increase your early game. Your soul is like kind of a like resource and also not. It's in like some games you really have a lot of soul to work with and some games you just have a tiny soul to work with. But still Eureka is really wonderful. Um, especially when you go second. Because Eureka plus a trigger allows you to hit 13k into your opponent's 8k. It's a very awkward card. For your opponent to deal with uh, and you can still bounce the trigger to hand to gain some aggressiveness onto your opponent and not lose on anything and for the rest uh, eureka is just here for like some diva matchups retire matchups in general and also to increase the pressure on the early game then this broken great one essentially when you play the correct gem uh, you draw a card the draw is mandatory that's a really important thing so when you go to the late stage of the game keep that in mind um but essentially when your field doesn't get interrupted every turn this just allows you to draw cards endlessly every single turn um just a wonderful card then we play three pgs then just like eight crit three front because this deck already draws a bunch and then we go to the order this order is nuts and it's actually like when you look at all the skills in this deck it's really like pretty okay good when you have like one of the gems or the other gem that's good but this card allows you to like it essentially counts as both gems so you have like the blue one and the red one and this counts as both so all of the skills you have read earlier Ballista, uh, Ophelia anything like that it activates both so you gain 15k the restand other 15k from Ballista and the top 5 check so the other part is when you play it you put it into the sort of draw card and give your finger the ability when your opponent is great three and everything like that to counter plus one 
Soul Blast and Willista. So that's why when you go second, you already want Willista in your soul uh, to reset one of your rear guards. Really strong because this allows you to have a 5 attack uh, plus Olivia or Ophelia, I don't know. Uh, I don't really know the name specifically. Um, but it allows you to have 5 attacks. And because you play this order every single turn and you have to create one to back that up, you just draw endless amounts of cards and continuously uh, go through your deck. But you need Wallista every time in your soul. So you either need Persona Right or just the other Wallista to put it in the soul. And that's why you really want the Trixie. And then we have the one Elementaria. And that really wants to stop. So, please, you guys enjoy it. Comment down below. And I'll see you guys later.